Finally, Icon SPCs are going to be returning to FIFA. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title today, we're going to be talking about what we can expect from the return of Icon SBCs. So, if we take it back to FIFA 19, where we were first introduced to Icon SBCs, it's probably been one of the best concepts and one of the best kind of SBC groups we've had on FIFA. Obviously, last year they decided to take them out and a lot of people weren't happy and I think it definitely would have been better if we had them. Basically, it allows you to grind over time and get yourself your hands on some of these icons that you might not be able to afford via coins. So, I am very happy personally they're back. I didn't actually do many back in the day, but I think nowadays I probably will. But what we're going to look at today is what we can kind of expect. Obviously, we'll look back to FIFA 19 and see what we got at the start there. And obviously, have a think of what icons we could see right at the start and read what EA have said and what is going to happen for these icon SBCs. However, just before we get into that brand new news today, at the time of recording this video, a David Beckham has been announced to FIFA 21. He has moved from PES to FIFA and we are now going to get him in game. And I will show you on the screen now, you can get yourself a free David Beckham Real Madrid right mid card, 86 rated, just for playing FIFA 21 by January the 15th. I think literally all you have to do is literally load the game up, make sure you play it. If you do that before January the 15th, a David Beckham will appear on your account. I think you also get him in Volta as well, but um, but if you play Volta, fair enough, um, you can get a hold of that. But yes, we should all be able to get that free David Beckham 86 rated card. The first time where we've seen an icon get a club card. So that might actually allow for more of that to happen in the future. Who knows? But that is sick. So yeah, literally all you have to do is play FIFA, by January the 15th. I think they start to roll out the cards from December the 15th. I think it's something like that. I think EA said. So don't worry if you haven't got them yet. It should be there from December the 15th onwards towards January the 15th. Cut this to the Beckham part. And if you wonder more about actually Beckham's icon cards, I will go ahead and show you the information now. As you can see, Beckham is obviously getting his three cards and hopefully a prime moments when they drop. But as you can see here, David Beckham joins the squad of icons in foot 21 on December the 4th, which to also point out is the release of the next gen version. So yeah, December the 4th, he'll be in packs. You can see his icon ratings on November the 27th as well. Oh God, please be nice. I think we've actually seen the ratings though. So I will show you the ones that have been leaked, at least from what people are saying are real. So these are apparently the leaked ratings for Beckham. As you can see, this is from Legacy FIFA's um, photo. I'm not gonna make out his mind. So shout out to Legacy FIFA. But as you can see, three cards, his base card being an 87 rated center mid, the only center mid card of the three. Then he's got an 89 rated right midfielder card. That is his middle card. And then 92 right mid prime, obviously only 80 pace as his highest pace. But if you stick a hunter on that, the rest of them stats are looking incredible. So yeah, that's the Beckham news. Now let's actually go back onto what we can expect from Icon SBCs. But yes, anyways, back onto Icon SBCs. Let's actually take a look at the first kind of things we got in FIFA 19. You should be able to see on the screen the first actual Icon SBCs we got were actually player picks where you went ahead and completed the Icon group and managed to go ahead and get a player pick and choose an icon that you wanted from that. I believe they were repeatable. I can't fully remember, but I think they were. Um, don't quote me on that. But yes, they were the first kind of icon SBCs that dropped on FIFA 19. And I believe we got like two lots of that till EA just decided to completely scrap the idea and just do solo icon SBCs. So yeah, I'm not too sure if the player picks will come back. Um, like I said, EA just kind of dropped it after a while and just did solid just icon SBCs for specific icons that you guys wanted to get. But it will be interesting to see if they do that. Maybe they'll throw some more icons in there, but we have obviously got icon so they probably want to save some of the icons for them as well. Then basically after that, we got three icon SBCs that dropped, as you can see on the screen. We had a Del Piero, Overmars, and Rui Costa all dropped at the same time. I actually remember completing the Rui Costa. I think that was a fairly cheap one. These ones did actually require icons as well. So it might be worth investing in lower rated icons because you may need them for these SBCs. EA did point that out in their uh, pitch notes, I think, when they said about icon SBCs returning. You may need icons. However, the prices might have already gone up. So yeah, icons probably will be a requirement and obviously, hopefully, fingers crossed we can get some nice packs back from the Icon SBCs as well, but knowing EA nowadays, at least from this FIFA, they like to make the rewards untradeable, which just isn't 
the funnest. But yeah, like I said, these three were the first ones released all together. I'm not too sure on the requirements, what the actual requirements took for these cards. There probably is somewhere that I can find out. I'll have a quick look right now. So I've actually managed to dig deep and find it on the Foothead website. So let's go take a look now. All right, so... These were the SPCs. So overall, there was eight SPCs I had to complete. This was for the Rui Costa, at least. So as you can see, these ones have the rated squad in there. 83 rated squad, 84 rated squad, 85 rated squad, 86 rated squad, and 87 rated squad. This one didn't actually require an icon. But back onto it, the other squads that were needed, these are just basic ones, I think. As you can see, exactly bronze players. Rare plays exactly 11. Rising talent one as well. That was rare plays exactly 11. Silver plays this time. And then the world class squad, exactly gold players. Rare plays exactly nine. Team of the week plays required as well. So so definitely in terms of cards that you might need, Team of the Weeks are probably key. Maybe some silvers in there as well and bronze rares. And then obviously for the higher icon ones, if you're looking to get the big boys, they might actually also require an icon to chuck in because that is definitely what happened back in the day. Might be worth picking up some of the lower rated ones, like I said, to chuck them into these icon SPCs. But like I said, I do want to check out the pitch notes that EA dropped when they actually announced icon SPC so we can kind of read the information and go through it. So as you can see, secondly, we're excited to confirm that icon SPCs are back. Fingers crossed this Friday, as in the time I'm making this video, the Friday that is coming up. But as you can see, it says the first Icon SPCs will be introduced from late November. So we're kind of getting into that period now. It says here they'll be available long term, but not permanently. Hopefully long enough for people to actually grind out and actually, you know, get stuff from rewards and then chuck them into the SPCs if they're looking to build it over time. And it says specific versions of Icons will only become eligible for SPC release after they've released in packs for a period of time. So that means by the sounds of that, we're not going to get any prime icons just yet. So it'll only be base and middle icons at the start because they're the only cards that have been in packs. So don't expect to see any prime icon SPCs as of right now and until they're in packs, I think like maybe the end of this month or the start of next month or something like that. And as you can see, after the SPC uh, expires, it can be released in a later date for obviously cheaper. EA tend to re-release obviously SPCs near the end of the game that people kind of like, like the hyped up ones that people can then do for a cheaper price as well because obviously it's further down the game. So if there's a decent one that everyone likes, hopefully if you can't afford it at the start, you can get it closer to the end of the game and it'll be more affordable as well. Also, another thing to point out that's not to do just with the Icon SPCs, but Icon Swaps are starting next month. As you can see down here, if I highlight it, no specific version of an Icon, e.g. base, released through an SPC will be released again through Icon Swaps and vice versa. So when Icon Swaps drops, which will be obviously, like I said, December, EA won't be re-releasing any of the Icons that are in Icon Swaps as Icon SPCs. So the ones you see there won't become SPCs and the SPC players won't be dropped in Icon Swaps. So just in case you're hoping that an SPC is too expensive and it might drop in Icon Swaps, it won't be doing that because EA have already said in them notes there that that won't be happening because EA have already said there that icons that have been basically in swaps won't be SPCs and SPCs won't be swaps, vice versa. You know the drill. So now on to some icons that I would like to see drop near the start. It would be nice definitely to see some of the new icons be SBCs, icon SBCs when they first drop. So onto the icons, I definitely think Xavi could be one of the new icons that it could drop as an SBC. I don't see him much, like I don't think I've actually ever played against a Xavi. So it'd be cool to actually drop that as an SBC and get people using this card because I mean, it's not that bad of a looking card for a center mid stick of shadow or something like that on this card is getting the pace increase. I mean, his passing's already good. So that would be a cool one. Then once again, we've got got Schweinsteiger either the 87 or the 89. I prefer personally the 87. You can obviously start him at left mid, switch him in game. That is definitely a shout that EA could drop. It's not too expensive either, so that is definitely worth grindable wise. Another one that I don't think we see much either is Suka. I mean, it's four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Not that bad of a looking card. It could be a cool icon for people to add to their team and try out. Then obviously we've got the really expensive ones, the likes of Eto, um, either his base or mid card. That could be an SBC from the new icon batch. That would be cool. But like I said, we're not too sure how many EA will drop at the start and whether they'll bring back the player pick options as well. That would be interesting to see if they did that. But it would definitely be cool to see some of these new icons drop straight away so people can kind of grind towards it and try out these new icons and get them in their club. So yeah, that's kind of going to be me done for what we can kind of expect for the icon SBCs. Hopefully this video has kind of helped you guys out and allows you to prep kind of for icon SBCs and kind of get a, like an idea of what we can see from these. Hopefully EA will change up and maybe even make some of these cheaper. That would be cool. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments what you guys are most excited for Icon SBCs. What Icon SBCs do you want to see? Do you want to see the player picks come back or do you want to have just a solid specific Icon SBCs that you guys can grind and then get your
your hands on these icons for your teams. And also, let me know what you think of David Beckham. Personally, for me, I am very, very excited to try that card out. I know his stats aren't looking the greatest, but it's David Beckham. Literally, stick him on a free kick and I'll be happy. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you